New at 6, a plan to change Cincinnati's charter to do away with the position of city manager. And more developments at City Hall. Meanwhile, the dispute over the current manager, Harry Black, showed no signs of being solved today. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with who's taking sides in this matter, Tom? Well, first, a little historical perspective. Cincinnati invented the city manager form of government in 1926 when boss George Cock was ousted. It's been that way ever since. But there could be a change coming up in a future election cycle. Voters could be asked to choose strong mayor or city manager, but not both. There's been a city manager working with Cincinnati City Council for 90 years now. Harry Black is the current occupant of the office, but he signed a deal with Mayor John Cranley to step down. We feel it's not the charter that's the problem here, it's the people. You know, and you can't design a system that takes care of all different people combinations. Bob Daner is president of the Charter Committee, which was created in the name of government reform. Unfortunately, the mayor and the city manager in both cases are not really making the grade. Voters would have a choice, either a strong mayor or a strong city manager form of government. Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman says he's leaning toward the strong mayor and could run for that job. I would say to you that we could certainly structure it that the executive mayor kicks in down the road beyond me. Uh, I, I promise you it's not about me. This is about trying to do what's right for the city of Cincinnati. P.G. Sittenfold has been mentioned as someone who might want to run for mayor in 2022 as well. He said he'd want a lot more specifics on a mayor or manager charter change before he'd make up his mind. In terms of people that are trying to advance this conversation, the devil is entirely in the details. A strong mayor uh, sort of situation can take many different incarnations. You know, the manager situation can be tweaked. Right now, a council majority won't approve the $423,000 severance deal for Harry Black to leave. Daner backs that stance, saying there are too many questions that still need answers. The mayor believes that there's some serious violations on the uh, part of the city manager. The city managers made an accusation about a police department. We got to know the answers to that. We can't just sweep it under the rug. Now, Daner has three other things that voters might want to consider. Number one would be charter reform to allow council to actually fire the city manager. Number two, allow council to go into executive session for personnel matters. It can't do that now. And number three would be to remove the pocket veto from the power that the mayor now has. Tom McKean out on your side, live downtown. All right.